we can sit back comfortably and light this bitch on fire. <laughs> and just laugh as we cook him comfortably from the pirate dugout. What is going on, you nerd paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me today. We're playing some more Atlas, and we're using our pirate wits and ingenuity to outsmart all of the creatures across all the worlds, through all of the seas. Thank you so much for coming to hang. I am Nick, this is Nerd Parade, and without further ado, we're gonna do some more piratey stuff and look for some more booties in the form of power stones. So we've scoured the dragon mythical island and located the power stone cave, which is right here behind me. Now the power stone cave is very similar to the power stone cave that we located on the Hydra mythic island. And inside is filled with horrible death and destruction, bats, spiders, army of the damned, all that other good stuff. But we've learned our lesson from battling the Hydra power stone cave environment. And we want to try to prevent that from happening again on this one. So we've created a very interesting and very ingenuitive pirate structure by using our wits, the sharpest weapon in any pirate arsenal. We have, da 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 da, the pirate dugout. Uh, name tentative. So we have the pirate dugout here, which we've created with our crew. And it looks very similar to a baseball dugout. That's why I named it that. It's lined up pretty closely with the edges of the cave of, of the Power Stone. You know, you can always tell that there's a Power Stone from that, like, little mythical-looking shrine out there in the very dangerous distance. And why we have this structure here is to protect ourselves from the outside. While the things inside, very scary, very angry, very murderous, the things on the outside are probably equally, if not greater in murditude. That's right, it's a word, we just made it up, let it fly. Anyway, we're gonna show off the power of the power, power, power of the pirate dugout, there's a lot of peas going on in there, and we're going to also showcase what it looks like and how to build it for yourself. But before we get into that, there are a couple of things that you could do with this that might be deemed a little griefy. So this pirate dugout pretty much seals off the entire area outside of a couple of little spots that you can't really get through. If you really wanted to be a huge giant wiener, you can lock a power stone cave down for only your company. We're not doing that. Uh, we have a wooden door, specifically a wooden door, and it remains unlocked. Half the time it remains open. So in case anybody comes along, they may be able to beat it down if they need to get in or just simply E on it to avoid all of the nasties outside. But that is one of the drawbacks of having a build like this. If you don't want your company's name to fly up on the atlas radar because you've blocked off a power stone cave maybe just leave the door off or do like what we're doing leave it unlocked and have it wooden in case for whatever reason a server reset locks it and they can just beat it down easily that guy right there that cyclopi right there is the whole reason the whole method behind the madness of the pirate dugout in our battle at the hydra cave we found the, the Cyclopies waiting for us outside once we achieved the Power Stone and tried to return to daylight just ruined our faces and almost everything. Luckily for us, stone structures don't get damaged by the Cyclopi. But we can sit here safely on our swivel cannons, which is my favorite gun in Atlas so far. I love them. They do so much. We can sit back comfortably and light this bitch on fire. <laughs> And just laugh as we cook him comfortably from the pirate dugout. It's It all has to do with the way that the pirate dugout was built. I don't think I... Oh, I can't get that female line. Can I get this one? We've got some grape... One, some, ones are grape shots. Yes! Ones are grape shots. Uh, you can switch between them on the fly as long as you have an ammo box down, which is what we have right over here. And you can protect yourself from the dangers of outside. We're going to try to kill these things... So I can actually go outside and show you what the pirate dugout looks like out there. But we're doing this solo, just like we slaughtered the dragon. We're doing this solo. The sharpest weapon any pirate wields is always his wits. So we're outwitting the environment as best that we possibly can. 
Now the crew has helped me build this. This isn't this wasn't a solo build on my on my end. The crew definitely assisted with building it, and we've even moved our ships. We'll pull out the map here while this thing is, is beating down as close to the shore as possible. We were ferrying over stuff from the ships to get this built, and it was a definitely a group effort. So oh, oh, that crow! The crow defied my defenses! And there's a cobra hanging out in how did, how did a cobra get there? Cobra, you're making me look bad. Alright, crow. There's we're getting crowed! It's a murder of crows! Okay, yeah, I'm stop I'm gonna stop making bad puns and kill this turd. Come on, fly in front of me. Where'd he, where'd he go? It's a ninja crow! He just smoke bombed out of there! Well, I'm gonna defeat this cobra, because he should not be. Oh. You should not be, Cobra. <gasps> You're a ninja cobra. Are you one of the Foot Clans? I, I don't know. I'm making Ninja Turtle references and uh, I'm trying to make G.I. Joe references. Too many references. Brain got confused. Uh, lag. Sun was in my eyes. Goldfish is drowning. Dog had a seizure. Insert random excuse here. But that's kind of more or less what happened. So you can fire your arrows through the little uh, portholes here. But big, big baddies are going to be Cyclopi and Gorgons. Gorgons do roll up here on this area too. And you're relatively protected from those guys as well. Just keep burning. Just keep burn. Oh, oh. Had a bit of a stutter there. Cyclops doesn't like fire. He's whacking my base so hard that the game's like... <laughs> go, 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 go. It shows that we're hitting zeros, but as you can see, his health bar is going down crazy. It's that ticking fire damage. Keep the debuff on him. This isn't Grape Shot. This is another flame one. Oh. Go down, you turd. Yes! Yes! Easy Cyclops, Cyclops slaying! Using our pirate wits. Okay, since everything is on fire, still, I'm just going to casually crawl around here and see if we can go outside and show you the dugout. Aha! Well, there's a big shiny stone of saying, hey, Power Stone over here. If you're in search of a Power Stone, look for these. They basically tell you where to go. But our build. So we have stone so that we don't burn it down with our own stuff or it gets smashed into smithereens by Cycloply. Okay, making sure I'm not going to get snuck on by anything. And then we have door, the creative use of door frames. Door frames have uh, been extraordinarily powerful in past uh, situations, so we put them to use in this one, and they seem to be just as powerful. Now, we have a gap here in the outer wall, which prevents the Cyclopi from coming through, but it will allow other creatures, smaller creatures, to get closer. Like you saw earlier, the lions were up here, and they kind of get stuck around this area. Spiders can wiggle their way through, and so can snakes, but they usually stop right around here, and they can't get past our, like, defenses. They can't go through the little half walls. But what they can do if you're not careful, is you can light the snakes on fire and they'll kind of head glitch their way through the walls and also light you on fire and then you could potentially die. Uh, I'm not speaking from experience. It happened to a friend of mine. So before this guy goes anywhere, we're going to grab our easy mythos. Stick this back. Well, I could harvest him to get him out of here. And we can stick this inside of our base. Now, what you could do is use this as kind of a farming mythos type design if you want to invest the the greek fire into it basically that's really all it's going to be they just recently updated uh, atlas making greek fire more expensive than it was in the past so crafting it now is a little bit more of a pain in the ass but still uh almost 200 me oh, that was a bad shot almost 200 mythos is almost 200 mythos there's the head glitch i'm talking about with the cobra i can't shoot him if he holds still uh eh, come on you're making me look bad in front of my friends but if you light him on fire in that stage, he will poke through, and he will light you on fire, too. Come on! Hold still. You little squirmer. Alright, I'm just gonna light him on fire. This is how we're gonna do it. Had enough of your shit. It's time to cook you. Too far away. Oh, he's gonna push me off because he's right there. Alright, maybe we do have to go back to this method. You... Wait... Let's try that. There it is! <laughs> the power of doors! If you open the door, you can kill things! If the door is closed, all is protected! 
One more how to do it. Take that giant cobra. If I go outside while I light myself on fire. I won't if I just believe. I'm gonna make sure there's not meat. Okay, there doesn't appear to be mythos in the cobra. I've never actually tried to loot a cobra. <laughs> Drop him. Yeah, I never actually tried to loot a cobra before this very moment. Anyway, you could farm mythos. But the more important thing that I want to try to do is get inside this cave. And we're going to do... Do I have a torch on me? It's broken. I think we have some more in here. Uh, yes, we do. We have more torches here. I'll put this down. And we're going to go inside of our cave and see if we can solo it with our pirate wits. The caves are dangerous. The caves are exter... Oh, my bow's almost broken. Uh, let's do that. Aha, there we go. The caves are extraordinarily dangerous, and you cannot build inside of the cave. This build is done basically as far as you can go. I mean, you could get a foundation kind of like right here where I'm standing, but it's not going to do you much good. We do have our rear face swivel. I'm going to shut this just in case a snake comes in. If I can manage to bait anything out, we haven't been super successful with doing that, but I'll give it the old try. But what we're going to do is be very quiet and try to sneak past everything instead. If we could do this and interact, I still have my key, right? Uh, I have two keys, actually, because I keep getting them when I when, if I die and respawn. I'm going to try to interact with the Power Stone and become that much stronger. Behole clenching intensifies. Okay. That's kind of what I didn't want to see. We did learn of a super secret shortcut. Oh yeah, they are all... Can I outmaneuver them? Should I death run it? They are all on the bridge that I want to cross. And if I get too... If I get too close, they're going to aggro. Let me, let me death run it. Chances are either I'm going to get over there, they're going to shred my gear and kill me, or I can run up there, interact with it fast enough to that I get the power stone and then I'm able to dip out. And if I t happen to bring anything out with me, then maybe we'll jump on the swivel cannon or at least try to bring it down. We've got beds here. We'll be good. We're ready for our naked run. Now, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is the last time we, we ran the cave is I got slaughtered by bats and we lost our body. So I don't want to rip my gear. I want to be able to like keep it. So I'm okay with losing a climbing pick, a grappling hook, and some arrows if it allows me to get that power stone. So I'm thinking pirate ingenuity. We try to grapple our way over there like we did last time. Hit that node and dip out. Okay, let's aim a little bit down because he's going to throw it up. Ah, shit. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Pirate skills. Bad. I am the probably the worst pirate you have ever heard of. But you have heard of me. <laughs> yes! Okay. <sighs> let's do it. Indiana Jones style. Dun 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 dun. Clinch my butt. Dun 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 dun. Holy shit, here they come. <laughs> power stone. Power stone. Power stone. Re! Power stone! I'm eating as hard as I can. Oh no. Why can't I get the power stone? I cannot get the power stone. I have the thing. Oh god, scorpion. Scorpion. I have the key. I have the key, right? Yes, I have two keys. Why can't I get the power stone? Mighty Poseidon has not deemed me worthy of power stone. I am not cool enough to get power stone. I gotta get you. Oh, shit. Are we getting early access right now? I made it over here. The bats aren't doing anything. Can I escape? I can't. I don't know why I can't get the power stone, but I can't get it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. I have made it out. Uh-oh. Bad news. Mega bad news. Ouch. My ass. Oh. <laughs> I lived a pirate another day. Very clenched. Behold is very clenched. I don't know why I couldn't get the power stone. We haven't been in this cave before. It, it, I think it's the blue one. It looks blue. We have, we don't have this one yet. We have the purple. Oh, uh, you, well, you can't really, can I rotate my thing? Uh, here. Yeah, we have the purple. 
There it is. There's purple stone. We don't have blue stone yet. Why couldn't I get this one? Mighty Poseidon has deemed me unworthy of the power stone. I have displeased him in some way. So that one of two things is happening. It might be, it might, we might have gotten early access. It's possible. Or we might have not met a condition. Something uh, maybe might not be right. But we have our pirate dugout here for future use. We can leave this here. We can keep the door open for other people to come in easily, try to run in, access the power stone. But for now, we have a couple of other things that I would really like to achieve. Now, Captain Nurbeard of the Avalonian Zoological Society is getting up there in age. I'm 75 years old. I did want to go out and start looking for the Fountain of Youth. So maybe that's something we could do until there's either an update that uh, allows us to get the Power Stone, assuming that it was an early access, uh, or maybe we'll come back and at a later time when we fulfilled the appropriate conditions to Power Stone it up. We have displeased mighty Poseidon. We must go kill three Krakens and say four hail uh, Neptunes or whatever. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. We are once again safely aboard the Rum Dumpster, and we're going to set out in sale of other strange and fascinating things across the seas to increase our piratey power, maybe even a fountain of youth, to make me look a little bit less wrinkled. But I hope this video was uh, was helpful to you guys. I hope that you can use this as a successful way to farm your mythos, if you're looking to do that. It's... Uh, whether it's cost effective or not is up to you with the increased cost to the Greek fire or the liquid flame for your swivel cannons. Uh, I have a lot of fun just sitting there and blasting stuff. Swivel cannon, definitely my favorite off-ship type of gun. But hopefully it was a, uh, a useful type of build for you to duplicate if you're looking to. Uh, it's also a great way to really protect your booties in front of the Power Stone Caves, assuming you have pleased Neptune enough to allow yourself or your crew or your company to collect one of your own. But this is where I'm going to leave you, Nerd Paraders. We're going to set out to sea for some more piratey adventures. But I want to bid you farewell and remind you to always take care of yourself. If you like this video, please smash the thumbs up button for me. Let me know that you liked it that way. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the page for some more cool videos just like this one. Or don't. Who the fuck cares? What do I know? But like I said before, take care of yourselves, stay awesome out there, and we'll catch you on our next piratey adventure on the high seas. Later.